Spoilers One Piece Chapter 1083 Saba begins telling Monkey D. Dragon and Emporio Ivankov everything about what happened at the reverie, which fans see in a flashback. The spoilers then claim that eight kingdoms oppose the world government because of what happened to the kingdom of Luluzia. However, the initial spoilers don't specify if this is said in the context of the flashback or contemporarily, which also influences readers' understanding of when Luluzia was destroyed. In any case, these eight kingdoms refuse to pay taxes to the world government. Therefore, the world government sends the Holy Knights to deal with them, with their number said to be nine in total. One Piece Chapter 1083's initial spoilers then claim that Sabo, Karasu, Morley, and Lindbergh are fighting against Admirals Fujitora and Ryokagyu. Fans see Karasu shooting crows at Fujitora while Morley manages to stab Ryokagyu. However, CP0 then intervenes in the battle, revealing themselves to be in possession of Vivi Nefertari. The initial spoilers then claim that Sabo says their main mission in going to the reverie was accomplished. They declared war against the world government, destroyed its symbol in the form of their flag, and freed Bartholomew Kuma. Dragon then says that the real war has now started with the action of the Holy Knights. One Piece Chapter 1083's initial spoilers then claim that Dragon says they've also made their first move in the battle by destroying supply ships headed for Marie Joyce. A newspaper is then seen, showing the corpse of King Nefertari Cobra lying next to Sabo. In a flashback, fans see Cobra, during the referee, heading to meet with the Gorosei. However, before going to them, he asks Pell and Chaka, the two guardian spirit representatives of the Kingdom of Alabasta, to take care of his daughter Vivi before departing. Vivi is also apparently seen at the end of the chapter while Karasu fights Fujitora and Morley fights Ryokagyu. Vivi is also apparently seen at the end of the chapter while Karasu fights Fujitora and Morley fights Ryokagyu. These spoilers claim that fans see good action from Karasu, as well as that Fujitora is seen preparing a massive attack to send at the Revolutionary Army. Commanders, however, this attack is not seen, with the issue cutting to Sabo before its impact is on. CP0 is impressed by the Revolutionary Army's strength, saying that if they weren't in Marie Joyce, the fight between the admirals and the commanders would destroy it. Cobra is also seen dead on the floor next to his wheelchair while Sabo stands next to him. The picture from the newspaper also allegedly looks like a real photo rather than a drawing. One Piece Chapter 1083's initial spoilers also claim that one of the Nine Holy Knights has a sword and looks like Shanks, even having the same sword and the same robe. The sword is also said to be on his left side, just like Shanks, seemingly suggesting that this person could be related to Shanks or even could be Shanks himself. It's also allegedly revealed that Kara Su's devil fruit is the Logia type Suzu Susanomi, which is translated as the Sut Sut fruit. One of the Holy Knights also allegedly has a cowboy hat, and another has horns. However, it's unknown if these are their actual shadows or just rough sketches. Hopefully, the verified spoilers for the upcoming issue will shed some light on this matter. Be sure to keep up with all One Piece anime, manga, film, and live action news as 2023 progresses. 
Arigato gozaimasu, arigato gozaimasu thanks for watching.